There's some absolute golden moments in uh, Michael Bulldog's uh, AME. I'm going to go into the full video here, but this bit, I just want to put at the start of this video because it's almost like he forgets the, his own bullshit that he's saying. But the amazing one here is that he forgets it within the same sentence that he just says. So I'll paraphrase what he says here and I'll write it down. He says, I'm only going to put money into this when I can reverse the trend. I would be an idiot to put money in at the top. And then in the same sentence, he says, yeah, I put money in at the top. <laughs> so he, he admits to being an idiot. Oh, let's try and get the, the, the sound of this. Hopefully you can hear this. Okay, at least minimum. Sometimes I made, you know, uh, even a million dollars in a single month in my coaching business. He does like to proclaim his wealth and how great he is at making money, which is always a, a red flag, I would say. I can always go back to that if you're not happy with what I'm doing with the ADM, what I'm doing with LockPay. My time is like valuable, guys. If you think that I work for free, you got it all wrong, you know? I need to get paid too, so... The <laughs> I'm so rich! I can make a million dollars in a month! And this failing cryptocurrency, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I need to be paid for this, because <laughs> uh, I need to be paid. The way it works, 30% from the, like, treasury. Some of you ask a lot of questions about that. You guys, you know, shouldn't be asking and forcing me to put money. I put money when I think I can reverse the trend. That's okay, okay, okay. So I put money in when I can reverse the trend. That's the first part of the sentence. That's what I'm doing. I'm not going to dump money at the top. I am not going to dump money at the top. If I put money at the, from the treasury to do a buyback and people still dump after, which we did. <laughs> which we did. <laughs> we did two buybacks. Of <laughs> we did it twice. <laughs> the top, but people still were like selling. So I'm not stupid. I'm not going to do that. I am not stupid. I am not going to do that. What? <laughs> in the same sentence, he says he's only going to put money in when he can reverse the trend. He's not going to put money in at the top, but he did it twice. He's not stupid. He's not going to do that. This guy, this guy's a genius. <laughs> so anyway... Now we go back into the rest of the video where I uh, talk about this actual whole AMA, but oh, it's a shocker. So in this video, I am going to go over the, the AMA, the Ask Me Anything uh, done by the CEO, Michael Bulldog of uh, LockPay. The not scam, uh, was it a scam? We don't know. We'll find out what he has to say in his AMA. So in his AMA, which you'll see here, fortunately, um, somebody has uploaded it to YouTube because unfortunately, they've blocked pretty much everyone in the Telegram group. And when they did upload it to their own YouTube channel, The Crypto Guys, the Bitcoin billionaires, they're not billionaires, uh, they pretty much instantly took it back down. Uh, don't know what's going on there, but they're clearly hiding uh, their AMA for LockPay. Um, so let's have a look. So I, what I'll say is thank you to um, Buster, Buster Grills, Buster Grill. Uh, for, I'll put a link to his channel down below. Um, he's uploaded... Uh, the video here and I'm going to do a commentary on what uh, Michael has to say for himself here. I've actually already done half of this video before but my computer crashed so I'm just redoing it again. So you see I've already got the text at the side and we'll go through that just now. Let's try that again. I'm not sure why I got disconnected. I have many networks at my house. The first thing I'd also say is, is what's hilarious is these guys do AMAs quite often um they they should be professionals at it but somehow they always manage to accidentally mute themselves <laughs> they still they're such geniuses they're so good at stuff but they can't figure out how to not mute themselves uh regularly throughout the video and in this video again he just mutes himself because he's just an idiot but but let's let's just uh listen to what but he has we to say. are here to talk about the next bull run for lock pay 
Yeah. So he's fully saying there's another build run. So as as you always say, a good scam artist never admits to his scam. Uh, and he says, yeah, we're about to have another build run. Uh, let's see how that goes. And uh, very excited about that. I have to tell you that uh, it's been very interesting what has happened and occurred in the last, uh, I don't know, like 72 hours has been quite interesting. And I know many of you are thinking, does the ADM work? Of course it works. <laughs> So first thing is just complete denial of the failure of 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 his uh, of his ADM. Look look at this. Look at this. This is the chart. <laughs> this is something which was meant to be limited to people only being able to sell one to five percent. It was always only at one percent that people could sell. There was no limit at how much people could buy. But yet it dropped. Let's get the little magnetic tool. New info line from the top in the space of three days and one hour. It dropped. 87%. That's that's not meant to be happening. Uh, additionally, another one was just near the end here, we got a drop in the space of two hours of 57%. That, that doesn't sound like an ADM that works. But yeah, he's saying, yeah, of course it works. Never admit your failures. Never admit your failures uh, or, or mistakes or anything here. Blame everyone else. Uh, let's hear what else he's got to say for himself here. Um, and we can always make changes to the ADM to slow down selling. And that's the purpose of the ADM, right? <laughs> so, so he's got to make more changes to this ADM to slow down the selling where 50% of the value of the token can go in just one day. Something, how, how, much, how much more can they limit it? Well, they do. They limit it to 1% every 48 hours. So that it is a call the anti- dump mechanism it's designed to slow down selling didn't so if there's too much selling we can slow it down besides they you didn't know, you can't turn a hundred a uh, uh, hundred dollars into five hundred thousand if you keep like selling you have to hold that is the nature of lock pay so when too many people start selling then, first problem. Uh, and it creates a downtrend so so here, here's his first blame somebody else it's because too many people were selling and that created a downtrend that's why it crashed but that wasn't meant to be able to happen because you had the ADM. Because people, even if everybody wanted to sell, they could only sell 1%. How, how does that work? But no, it's not your fault. It's not a failure of ADM. It's... Uh, this has nothing to do with me. You oh, it's nothing to do with it. No. The, plan. the plan has always been that this is... Because he's got the best ADM to earn. If you don't sell to earn, because if you sell to earn, then, you know, but of course... <laughs> yeah, you, you can't sell to earn. You've got to just own something and never sell it and then you make loads but you still can't sell it otherwise you'll crash the price <laughs> brilliant as we say if you're happy with your profits you can always cash out within the rules of the blockchain and so now we have made some changes that is required to turn around the uh, the, the chart and we have literally changed the rules. So now it's 1% every Ooh. 48 hours. Ooh. And we're going to do that until we reach a top. Otherwise, if I don't do that, people will start saying the ADM doesn't work. And that's not true. It does work. <laughs> that's not true. The ADM doesn't work. And that's not true. That is like saying, <laughs> the ADM does, he's saying, people will say the ADM does not work. And that's not true. The fact is, <laughs> it doesn't work. He's literally looking at the sun and going, it's night time. The sun's not... That's not the sun. There's like the flat earther of crypto. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's crashing into the ground. No, it's not. Absolutely fine. Your plane is plummeting into the ground saying, yeah, but I've got parachutes at the back and the plane won't crash. Well, it's going... <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, never blame yourself. Never admit a flaw. Never acknowledge a failure. Blame everyone else. Fantastic. But we need to make, we need to slow down selling. Yeah, we need, we need to so slow down. That's what I selling was already slowed down to 1% a day. Even if you try to pass it on to multiple wallets, they were still only meant to be able to sell 1% of their tokens a day. Uh, but yet, uh, yeah, we need to slow it down. We need to slow it down. I decided to do as the CEO of LockPay, and it's in everybody's best interest, whether you agree with it or not. No. Oh is not up to you it is up to me and i'm in the best interest of the greater good for lock pay yeah we need to what turn an this around because there has been too much selling too much and i think part of one reason there's been too much selling is we've received an attack oh. we receive an attack on our website <laughs> so, so this is again this is blame everyone else oh it's, it's 
again, well, the question is, you get an attack on your website. Your website is a stock website. It's, it's one which you've used for this coin, Dogejet, this, your mate's uh, cryptocurrency, Lockjet, or whatever it is. It's a stock site. And your site, your holding page site, doesn't do anything. <laughs> it doesn't stop it from being bought and sold on PancakeSwap. Or you can buy and sell it on PooCoin as well. I think you can buy it and sell it here. If you've put in your wallet address, you can buy and sell here. But yet you're saying, yeah, well, our website got attacked. So that's, uh, that's why it's gone down. Yeah, nope, that's, that's not an argument. We've received an attack in a telegram. We had somebody who was selling many little small to create the image that many people were selling LockPay, which wasn't true. <laughs> so somebody... Get this one. So somebody sold lots of little bits of the coin. So that made everybody else think, well, I need to sell. If somebody sells lots of little bits, it doesn't go down. <laughs> it just, just goes down a little bit. But when it goes down, like when it did at the start, like, can we get this one, this one candle in the space of, oh, we'll go two hours. In the space of one hour, it went down 10% in two hours. Not in a day, in two hours. It went down 10%. You're trying to blame that on somebody selling lots of little bits. Don't don't quite think that was that was the case. But yeah, blame blame somebody that sold lots of little bits. And all of you got sucked into it. Oh, oh, oh so it's like, you are the suckers. <laughs> See, literally, lit I keep saying literally, that's because he says it all the time. So he's saying that the owners, the holders of this coin got sucked into the scams of people selling. Well, imagine if you were a sucker that, self that, that got sucked into scams. Imagine that. <laughs> Including the people who've been lying to you, saying that the team was selling coins, which was never true. We have... I told the people who joined the group that the team had only sold one BNB a day, up to eight BNBs, and that's it. That was the maximum we sold. I haven't seen the wallet that only sells one BNB a day. Once the train reversed, the team have. It would be interesting if you could put the wallet address for that so we can actually see that. I haven't been able to see that anywhere, though. Hmm, interesting. Never sold anything at all. That was a blunt lie that you were told, probably from the people who were attacking us. And to be honest, right, uh, I saw a tweet today, and I don't know if you saw that tweet, but the tweet was somebody saying, calling us a scam, and I, I said, guys, go post on that. We're not a scam, right? I mean, that's just stupid. Because we created an ADM, it's now become a scam. <laughs> God always just say, that's stupid. We're not a scam. That's stupid because we made an ADM. That's not a scam. No, you made an ADM, or you promised an ADM that completely failed that backfired, that is a failure, that made people lose thousands of dollars in the spaces of just hours, that's that's the scam. Not, not that you made an ADM, but the fact that the ADM doesn't work, that the ADM was a lie. That is such a stupid thing to say. So stupid. Obviously, these people are attacking us. And so um, other people who say that ADM, ADM is a scam, they are attacking us so uh, it's, it's, it's not because our adm failed it's because other people are saying our adm failed and uh we need to fight back because when they're attacking lock pay they're attacking your investment oh well, they so, want. so so uh <laughs> the uh attackers are attacking you come on join together rally up uh, as, a, as a team and let's fight against people that are saying that we're a scam pay to fail because if lock pay fails then they will win. And then these other rebase coin, uh, these other rebase coin, I think he's talking about safety. the ADM will say, ha ha, the ADM don't work, right? Fought by my rebase coin. If the ADM succeeds, they are in big trouble. Why? Because we can stop a crash. They cannot. They can stop a crash. They, oh no, wrong one. They can stop a crash. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, almost 90% in three days. How how did you stop a crash? <laughs> how did your ADM work? An ADM was meant to stop this from happening. That didn't work. But now what you've done is just stopped all transactions, apart from a few uh, tiny, tiny wallets. <laughs> and it's a way down here. We're bouncing back. Does he say we... I think he says we start bouncing back. People want to buy the bounce. 
they have no way to stop a crash. With the ADM, I have just proven that when I want to stop the crash, I can do it. <laughs> You're in a house that's on fire and everybody's running for the door. And what you can see is that if I lock the door and nobody can get out and you can't hear people screaming, then the house is on fire. See, I can stop the house being on fire by making sure nobody can leave the house and tell anybody that the house is on fire. <laughs> wow, wow, as, as, yeah. I can stop the crash by stopping people from selling anything. <laughs> so therefore, it's not crashing. Okay, great, great argument there. Okay, this is what makes LockPay different than oh, all of those. So other secure, your money is so secure with LockPay. Completely, yes, we can, but it doesn't mean that you don't allow it to go down and then go back up after, and that's oh, go down. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just it's just going down a little bit. It's just 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 going down a teeny teeny tiny tiny bit. Yeah, come on, it's it's not gone down that much. No, no, it's it's all the way down. What we're really doing, okay? So we already did. Some people asked, was that a buyback from us, that twenty thousand dollar? Yes, it was. So he he now admits that he's done uh, a twenty thousand dollar. It was a buyback from us, and uh, I. So their their twenty thousand dollar buyback is this this candle here. Uh, we can see that in the uh, buyer and sellers charts here. So the buyers, there you go. The nineteen thousand eight hundred dollars is that one right there. And if we click on that, we can see the wallet uh, that he's uh, sent. Yeah, nineteen hours ago, they bought eight million of the token uh, and the, another twenty-seven. But they are also getting their rebase uh, as well, so they've they've gone up in the number of tokens that they've got here. If we also take the wallet address, and we can see that there's a hundred and sixty thousand dollars in this uh, wallet, which is quite interesting because they seem to have given themselves. Uh, they've they've taken out four hundred sixty three dollar uh, four hundred sixty three BNB and turned that into dollars. That's that's an interesting uh, maneuver there. Um, and if we go to the actual lock P, um, and you go down to the holders, you can see down here uh, where was it eight thousand uh, eight million one hundred ninety nine. It's just it's just a wallet. It's just a wallet in here, um, and uh, we can also see their their transactions, which uh, all seem a bit fishy uh, going on here. I've done another video on that before, especially when you go all the way back to what they they did originally. Einstein money. Click on Einstein money, and somehow in the holders of Einstein money, we have LockPay token burn, LockPay marketing, which aren't contracts. These are just more wallets. Interesting. Something fishy going on there, but uh, however, we shall ignore all that stuff, shall we? I, I, I'm, I, I just made it, and you know, that was just the first step. And um, let me show it to you in case you're watching the replay of this. Oh, no, so now he is he showing us so that 20,000 okay. <laughs> 20, so that's is creating the bounce buyback back. that we did, okay? $20,000, okay? And that was from us to help the coin. Did uh, I miss something here? Up, all right. So that's uh, the first I think thing that's I want to show you. Showing maybe. Okay. So let me stop sharing that. All right. I'm going to unlock well the, the chart so you can put some, your comment. How do you feel about the fact that we unlocked, we locked rather the unlocked tokens? Please put a comment. I've opened the chat for you. He's opened the chat. Let's okay. hear the comments that and are going to come no in. No fudding. If you guys to? fud, you'll be banned. You know, we are no Michael, we can't hear you. <laughs> Straight away, you can't, nobody can hear him. About now, can you hear me now? Yeah. Many of those 5,000 members that we have came from other rebase coin. You were not happy with those because they were dumping 90%. So there must, uh, so I think Buster Grills must have uh, missed a bit here um, and he has just put the next part of the the coin here but it looks like or the conversation here but it looks like um people are saying where do these five thousand uh holders come from and all that kind of stuff and how is that going to be fixed it's, it's got a lot more quiet so put the volume up here. that's why you came to lock pay because we have the adm and we're going to rebound okay 
with the new plan, we're going to rebound. rebound. That is the point. Okay, that's, that's why we made it. One percent every forty-eight hours. We, we allowed the sales pressure release yesterday with a two percent, and you can see the chart. We went down a lot, maybe, and then some some whales transfer their coins, and that's fine. That's fine. But that's over now. And now it's time to bounce back. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. Right. So those were the main things that I wanted to show you. Number one, we did a buyback. Number two, we burned five hundred thousand dollars of lock pay. Number three, we lock the tokens. And number four, we have a massive marketing plan. In massive place marketing. Right now. I've literally bought five. Million. Literally, literally bought. Okay, let's hear. He's, he says he's bought five million views. Don't know how that works. More like, have you, how, how, how can you say you bought five million views? Is that you've gone to like a, a view counting farm uh, that just presses your button all the time, but it's not actual from new viewers? Or have you paid influencers to promote your scam? Again, a lot of people say that you know, if, if, if your ADM is that good, you don't need to be paying that much for advertising. But let, let's hear. Million let's hear. views. Okay, five million views that I bought so people can be introduced to LockPay and they'll be able to see the chart going up. And the more the chart goes How do you buy views? I know you can buy view counts. You can buy thumbs up and all that kind of stuff, but he hasn't said which influencers he's gone from. All right, that, that's just a weird statement. Up, the more people will buy. Does that make sense? So because people don't want to buy in the downtrend, but they certainly want to buy the bounce. So let's take a look at the chart. To get let's look at this bounce. Together so we can have an idea and see what we're, see the, the bounce, okay? Because that's what this is all about. All right, so hold on a second. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so this is our chart. We are getting a strong bounce. Strong bounce. People will love to see that. Oh, kind of I'd love to. <laughs> yes, we say strong bounce. People will love to see this bounce. Let's look at this bounce. Oh, wait, is that the bounce? <laughs> yeah, that that's 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 less of a bounce. That's uh, as I found here. There's videos of about bouncing balls that don't bounce. But the worse it is. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the bounce. I'll show you what another bounce looks like. So in uh, lo in Lockpay's bounce, which a large per percentage of that bounce was them buying it themselves, we had another total scam coin, uh, Ethereum token, which had a dump. Let's have a little um, play with the measuring tools on this one. So Ethereum token in the space of an hour. Oh, pfft, ouch. Oh, I didn't put the right uh, thing on it. Get the right one with the info line. It went from here down to the bottom here. It dropped 92% in an hour. Oh, that's got to hurt. That That's really hurting. But they had to bounce. So let's do another uh, move here. So from their bottom down here, in the space of, let's go three hours. It, it managed to increase by 583%. So that is what I would call a bounce. Granted, it's not a bounce all the way back up. It's not to an all-time high or anything like that. But there was a potential to 5x your money in the space of three hours. And from what I hear is, or from what I experienced with Ethereum, they didn't buy back their own token. With LockPay... Let's see how much it has bounced back. So if we go for our little uh, info tool, from the bottom, down here, it's bounced back 25%. That's, that's good. But what we should possibly do is just take away, we take away the bit which they, they did themselves. The first part is a 12% increase. And then the second part, is a, we'll call it 5%. So a total of 17% bounce. <laughs> if, if we can just see it's bounces. It's a rubber. And one see. of them has an absorbing rubber. Let's see. Like it hit, you know, one of those reverse yeah, spin putts That's like the bounce. This. I, I think I'd <laughs> win at the... Just boop, and then flat lines. That, that's what uh, the lock pay uh, bounce looks like. Anyway, sorry. So yeah, but people want to, people will see this bounce. I want to buy in. <laughs> let's, oh, so good. In fact, can we just, can we just zoom out again? So let's zoom out. This bounce is a flat line. Like you can't even see it. 
that's not a bounce. <laughs> that's flatlining. Okay, anyway, 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 anyway um, I'm carrying on. So let's see how he shows off. Because it means bullish. It means... Bullish. Now is so bullish. Buy. Because if I buy now, I can make money. I can go back and get to the next leg of the bull market. Because bull markets have... There's uptrends, bull market, bear market, and all that we're doing is we're accelerating the bull market and the bear-like market. And wow, he really is accelerating the bull market and bear market. However, the bear market was not meant to be accelerated. It was meant to be stopped. It was meant to be only a 1% per day rather than 90% in three days. But uh, whatever. We made a higher low as well, which is... A higher low. A higher low from... Pre-sale. Well, that's because people can't sell without being in a loss. Because if they can only sell 1%, and let's say they've got $1,000 in there, they can only sell $10. The gas fees, oh, the 15% tax on that. So that brings that $10 down to like $8.50. And then you've got your gas fees on top of that, which might be another dollar or more, depending on how much BNB is at the moment. So you're down to about $7. <laughs> they, so people are just kind of going... No point. I'll just take it as a loss. Uh, so, to, to try and claim that we've hit a higher low is is a little bit of a of a you know really stretching. Was it jumping the shark? Maybe that's not the right term. We went back and we had a higher low. Okay, these other rebase coins they don't have a higher low. They have lower lows. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that even though if you look at it in a different way here, even though we went down a lot. It is still bullish because <laughs> it's not about going down a lot. It's meant to have not gone down is at a all. Higher low. It's not lower than when we started. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Now, if you go to <laughs> because Sassu, people's money is just lost. They didn't make a higher low. They made a lower low. Okay. And then he tries so to do. Is see, this basically uh, like this? Should... Coin is they this. Have longer. They've been longer. Seifu. Twelve hours. So then he tries to right? make the argument that see. well, Seifu is not as good as us. Let's let's just have a look at uh, if we can bring this up. Let's go to their 12 hour chart. Their low was obviously when they first came out was at 16 and it's currently at 28. So that argument failed. <laughs> it's brilliant. See, they're making lower lows. <laughs> what a fantastic scam artist. He's literally, he's literally lying to your face saying, look, ours didn't make a lower low, but these other ones made a lower low. Look at it. Oh, no, it didn't. But, uh, but they did. <laughs> it, it didn't. Yeah, but they made lower lows. It's like, it didn't. <laughs> just, just so good. I, I would love to have the confidence or bravado to just blatantly lie to people's faces like this right? and uh so now okay so they're very close to making a lower low <laughs> the question is are they gonna make a lower low they're so close oh, they're so close that was their opening price okay <laughs> oh that's too good and that's where they are right now they're about to go lower than their opening price oh so now, had they had, <laughs> they're about to they they're totally about to yeah yeah, yeah. Do you think they could have oh, stopped that? so funny. Do you think they could reverse the trend? Then he goes it, on about the uh, safety for it, ages. I think he's talking this. about this. Let's see if we get it for the People long. are doing this. They have no evidence. They're just lying. Here we go again. Make sure you read everything from the past, okay? And because um, some people are really attacked. Uh, not because you're not putting great comments. You are putting great like comments. But I need to shut shut it off because, you know, it just takes... <laughs> so it's just, can't have Telegram, can't have people saying comments, even if they're good ones. So, look, I'm going to leave it there um, because that's probably long enough there. But, yeah, check out the whole video. Buster Grills managed to uh, upload uh, there. And it's just... That is... That is fantastic. I'm not surprised they did. They deleted it straight after they uploaded it to YouTube because effectively no admission of failure, no admission of a mistake um, or, or or an apology or even an explanation. Just blaming every everything else, even if it doesn't make sense. Blaming it because other people sold. Blaming it because it's a downtrend. Blaming, you know, even though the EDM is the whole point that there isn't meant to be a downtrend. Um, blaming it because you guys didn't follow the plan. Blaming that you're suckers for falling for other people's scams about us 
ruining it, uh, blaming that the website was attacked and our telegram was attacked. So therefore, that's why it dropped 80%, even though it's only meant to drop about 1 or 2 or 8 or 5%. Um, blaming uh, everything else. It's, just, it's not his fault at all. And trying to say that we've got a higher low now, but other coins that are worse than us have lower lows. And then actually showing you that he's lying to you. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, Michael Bulldog. What a scammer. I'd love to be able to just be that confident to just lie straight to people's faces. So good. Well done. Well done. <laughs>